Lonnie G. Thompson. He's been awarded the National Medal of Science in acknowledgement of his research and his public impact. National Medal of Science for his pioneering research in paleoclimatology in the world's highest mountain glaciers and for his courage. Lonnie has spent more time above 18,000 feet than any human in history. People may dispute the causes of climate change, but there's clearly no dispute that climate change is happening, and there's no better indicator to illustrate this than glaciers. Lonnie believes tropical glaciers are unique early indicators of global warming's impact. The warming in these areas is enhanced by elevation and water vapor, so the projections of future temperature rises are almost twice that for other parts of the globe, making tropical glaciers the canary in the coal mine. With Kalkaya and his other glaciers disappearing fast, Lonnie's archive at Ohio State University may soon be the only place to find tropical ice. He and his team have amassed four miles of it, an archive of global climate history dating back 700,000 years. June 24th, 2007. We're looking up the Coicalis Valley from... Lonnie's efforts reveal that this glacier on Kalkaya is typical of the tropics. It's receding. And his team has documented that process over decades. When Lonnie started, there was no lake here. In the first 15 years, it was retreating at about 6 meters per year. In the last 15 years, it's been over 60 meters per year. So that's a tenfold increase in the rate at which the ice is being lost. What was really incredible was the initially how slow the glaciers were retreating and then how they have accelerated coming forward in time. And in such that many of the sites that we drilled early in my career have disappeared. You know, glaciers are kind of like an insurance policy. They accumulate snow uh, during wet seasons and wet periods, and then they melt and release that during droughts and, and dry seasons. But they're getting smaller, so their ability to do that becomes less and less. The mountain glaciers that sit high in the Himalayas are the lifeblood of Asia. The glaciers span an enormous geographic region, from Pakistan through India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and China. They are the source of water for some of the world's great rivers, the Indus, Ganges, Mekong, Yangtze, and Yellow Rivers, all flow from the Himalayan mountains to the seas of Asia. Uh, if you're working in Tibet, there are 46,000 glaciers there, and you take a river like the Indus River, it flows through China, through Pakistan, and through India, all nuclear power countries. 
all depend on that river for its water supplies. So these are, these are places, geopolitical hotspots in the future. They contain 40% of the world's fresh water. The tallest mountains on Earth, home to 55,000 glaciers. But our most precious resource is disappearing one drop at a time. What's happening in the Himalayan glaciers is incredibly complex. Most glaciers appear to be melting. The people of Asia face an uncertain future. From Nepal to the Tibetan Plateau, Bhutan to India and the Bay of Bengal, their way of life is under threat. The climate is changing. Bolivia's government has declared a national emergency because of a water shortage. 400 families live on this side and there are 600 families on the lower side. And these 1,000 families use this one faucet, which is insufficient. Luisa Maria Rita Songo cries as she pleads for more water for herself and her ailing parents. For 15 years she has been living here, relying on the one tap and on trucks that only deliver dirty water. An elderly neighbor is equally distressed. We need water in our homes. Besides, I have eye troubles, I can't see well, I'm not well. We need water, I need water urgently. I have no way of carrying it. Yeah. 